The Holy Spirit brought to mind, I need to read this word I received on August 5th, 2020. And if you look at the thumbnail, the photographer caught Trump in in a freeze frame like this. He is a part of the Illuminati global elite who worship Lucifer. He is a part of the system. When he sits down, he also gives the hand flash sign like that, which is the upside down triangle. He is a Luciferian. He is a part of the global elite. He is a golden idol. Many professing Christians turned to him to make America great again. And the Heavenly Father allowed him to be placed in office to test the hearts of the people. Here's the post from August 5th, 2020. Revelation 12, 11 through 12 in the NIV. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. When I receive dreams, visions, and words from the Holy Spirit, I am responsible to make sure they line up with scripture, to make sure I understand what he's saying. He gives me the photos, he gives me the scriptures to use, and it is a part of my testimony that is written in heaven. You can't take it away from me. I ask that you pray about these. Going like this doesn't change anything. Ask the Lord if I'm telling you the truth. Seek the truth, and it will set you free. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Trump will be taken out in a violent way. Then I was given a picture of a large explosion. And <laughs> it was a picture of an explosion, but doesn't that kind of look like broccoli and cauliflower with cheese sauce on it? <laughs> it was In the color, it was an explosion picture, though. The smoke and mirrors to cover the truth of his removal to a safe place. I'm going to repeat that again. The smoke and mirrors to cover the truth of his removal to a safe place. This smoke and mirrors sets the stage for civil war to further the agenda of the dark forces who will target all Christians. I'm going to repeat that again. This smoke and mirrors sets the stage for civil war to further the agenda of dark forces who will target all Christians, even the lukewarm ones, even the ones that say, now's your best life. All Christians, even the LGBTQ flag flying over the church, all Christians will be targeted. Prepare for intense persecution, my people. Prepare your heart for death, destruction, chaos, and torture. For the time of the beast will come suddenly. Don't love your life more than me or you will fall. Now, loving your life more than the Lord includes laying aside your agenda. It includes doing things like I'm doing, setting myself out there when I know most Christians don't want to hear the truth. Do I love the Lord more than re the rejection, the rebuke, and the scoffing? Yes, I do in Jesus' name, and he gives me the grace to do it, and he will give you the grace to do it, and he will give you the grace to stand on the days of testing. Back to the word. I'll start where I left off. Don't love your life more than me, or you will fall. The set time, place, and events are all in my plans of judgment upon this evil planet. Forsake evil. Repent. Seek me in all your ways and I will abide with you until the very end. Death of your flesh is instant presence with me. You will not feel the sting of death if you stay in my will. You will feel the eternal sting of death if you give in to the beast, which is Obama. And forsake me. Choose life. 
Choose the only freedom you will find. Life and freedom are found in me, my beloved. Shelter your heart in my heart, for I will keep you in peace. Don't worry about your needs. Didn't I tell you I take care of my sheep? Follow and obey me in what I lead you to do, where I lead you to go and when. Forsake sin. Repent, repent, repent. Twisting doctrine to fit your sin is preparation for hell. The once saved, always saved. You can do whatever you want after you said that salvation prayer. Because you're good to go. That's twisting the scriptures. That's making God's grace to do what he calls us to do. And to greasy grace, sloppy agape. Repent from that false doctrine. Back to the prophecy. Seek truth. I am the truth. Destruction, death, and chaos will rise, but so too will be my presence with you. Come to me, my people, come, and I will give you rest, peace, and hope into eternity. Come in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Thus says the Lord God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit doesn't give me these things to warn you about because he enjoys watching me get scoffed, mocked, and hated. He gives them to me to prepare you for the truth so the truth can set you free. Obama is the Antichrist. The Pope is the false prophet. Trump is an Illuminati global elite Luciferian. He's all a part of it. Don't follow any person. Follow Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. We must want 100% truth or we will fall for deception. Test your hearts to make sure you're wanting the truth and not following the way of emotion or flesh. The Lord will help us. The Holy Spirit will guide us. We have to repent from sins he brings up and don't try to make excuses and twist the scriptures. This is not the mark of the beast. It's part of the beast system. Read the word. It's in the right hand or forehead. And the false prophet, the Pope, will call it for all the habit. We will have to renounce our, our belief in the Lord Jesus Christ and pledge allegiance to Lucifer. Seek the truth. And you will find it. Follow Jesus. He's the only hope. Lord, help us all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.